So I have a practice which is called deep listening. And deep, deep listening uh, is a process uh, which engages with hearing, mm -hmm. attention, and uh, awareness, sensation. Sensation is a key word because it means engagement of all the sensory organs of the body. And sensation is very important in this. Um, but it also means um, engaging with the vibrations of all that there is, everything. OK, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I notice in my listening, well, I guess in that perspective, it's more delayed, maybe a delayed response how I'm maybe in a really noisy environment. Mm -hmm. And then maybe a day later, I realize I'm maybe not feeling good physically. That's or right, yeah. And I'm not real good. Why? Whatever, you know, listening to me often, yeah. I have a delayed response to that. Yeah, sensation. This sign here for mm -hmm. listening kind of depends on the context because in sign we may say, you know, we're listening if we put it up here on our head or we're listening physically with our body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, depending on where you position the sign, can um, influence the meaning of where it is or how the actual listening Absolutely, takes yeah. place. That's right. Um, and so sometimes in my exercises, I will ask people to listen with their eyebrows. <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> well, that's something to explore, right? <laughs> hmm, yeah, something to think about. <laughs> Can you explain a little bit more about how you, you know, started the Deep Listening Institute? In 1970, I began to compose uh, sonic meditations. And these pieces were, were not written in, in conventional music notation, but were instructions. They were recipes for, that anybody could do so that they could all, anyone could participate in making sounds that would result in a, in a piece. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah but, it, but, the, but the instructions were directing attention and awareness of sound and of silence. Now, now he, he, here's a, an example of one of those pieces. This, this was the instruction, okay? Take a walk at night and walk so silently that the bottoms of your feet become ears. <laughs> Very radical at the time. Well, in the 70s for sure. Yes. <laughs> But I, I wrote uh, 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 many of those pieces, and each piece had a different uh, kind of um, uh, understanding of, of attention, awareness, uh, of the sound and silence, and uh, of using the voice, of, of experiencing sensations in various ways. So this was what led to what I now call deep listening. <laughs> 